Hey folks, thanks for tuning in. This is Mike again. So you see, <clears throat> I'm still not done with my studio. For every one of you following my channel know that I just moved to a new apartment here in lovely Berlin, Germany. Um, of course, due to the madness coronavirus uh, here in Germany as well, we need to be stuck at home. So it takes some time for me to build all the stuff and to order it online, everything and get it packed into my room. But I will make a separate video about the progress I made so far and probably you might hear already that it already sounds a little bit better than the last time. It's still too much echo and reverb going on here, but um, I've implemented some acoustic treatments already uh, and what you see here in the back, this is basically um, an absorber that is going to be put above my hat over my new desk, which I will show as well in a video. But today's video is not about my room or acoustic treatment. It's about Steven Slate Drums 5.5. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So some weeks ago, Steven Slate released um, a surprisingly update for the successful Steven Slate Drums 5 um, drum sample library, which is called Steven Slate Drums 5.5. Um, the cool thing, as you see right now, um, it's currently, as of the date of this video, which is mid-April 2020, it's on sale, so you get uh, can get the full version of 5.5 for just 99 bucks, or if you are on Steven Slate Drums 4 or older versions, you can upgrade now for 49 which is really um, cheap and affordable so that's a cool thing um, for users like me who already had Steven Slate Runs 5 the upgrade to 5.5 was even for free which is great one of the things that um, a lot of people including myself like about Steven Slate is that his prices not only for Steven Slate Runs but also and mainly for his mixing plugins uh, from Slate Digital, they are almost uh, always, every time, very affordable. So he really takes care about the fact that many people around the world can, can purchase and afford his stuff. So that's really cool. Let's have a look, quick look on the overview he uh, here. Um, you see the numbers on your own um, Steven Slate Drums 5 or Steven Slate Drums as a program already um, had tons of instruments already included. So he created some new preset kits, which I will show you in a second here. Um, some things that, um, or one of the things that popped out to me um, most and foremost was that he released his famous one-shot snare samples, which I'm going to show you as well, which is very cool, I think, uh, very historic. Um, so it's a nice additional feature here. Some technical things that that they adjusted, um, especially that the GUI is now resizable, which is cool. Um, he says new smart velocity triggering algorithm for one shots. Don't know what that means. Sounds fancy uh, in the end. Um, yeah, uh, you can import third party samples and groove. Um, they added a ton of new MIDI groove, which is cool, which was always one of the critiques uh, for older versions of Steven Slate Rums that the MIDI library or the MIDI section uh, wasn't that great or didn't contain so much MIDI grooves that now you have two and a half thousand. Um, you can watch some audio examples, um, some videos about the features. Um, so, so you get the idea and here this video I can highly recommend where Steven explains where those one-shot samples come from. So let's jump into the software. Um, the, the kit is quite clean here. I always prefer this look. Um, I think most of you guys might be more familiar with that view uh, where you see the actual drum kit. Um, it's it really depends on you. I always go for the cell view just because, I don't know, it's it's easy for me to see the instrument. So um, you see here on the left side where you see the lib libraries, uh, I have already um, also, um, still have the Blackbird and Crystal LG uh, expansion pack included, which work under uh, SSD 5.5 as well. So you find here on uh, under 5.5 designer new core kits. Um, with classical Steven Slate names, um, Katya and uh, Fatty Bombadi and Summer of 62. So um, let's, before we talk about the deal sets, let's just listen to one of them just by double click. You see, depends of course on your hard disk drive or where you store them, uh, but usually they load up pretty fast. Um, I've created already a MIDI groove in Reaper, which I draw um, here exact, uh, out of this groove section, uh, the extended ones. So the MIDI groove you're going to hear is uh, from Steven Slate Rums as well. So let's have a listen on the preset Katya. Mm -hmm. 
Let's go for Fatty Bombetti, just because the name is so funny. Okay, um, two more. Perfect Rock um, 2, because I think um, in the old Deluxe or Classic series, there was already uh, a preset kit which is called Pure Perfect Rock, so that makes sense to just uh, give it number 2 here. Let's have a listen. And Zeppi is, um, I know Steven Slade Drums loves uh, the drum sound of Led Zeppelin, which we all do, of course. So there's another try on the Led Zeppelin kits uh, called Zeppi. Let's have a listen on that. One thing that already comes into my mind after listening to the software, um, it's not a big surprise or extremely new sounds that you can expect here. Um, the cool thing about Steven Slade Drums for me was always is what you see is what you get. So Steven Slade Drums developed over time clearly a signature sound. Uh, when you hear the samples, no matter if you are still on SSD 4 or 5 or now 5.5, and even though he's adding new technology or new samples, new preset kits, but in the end of the day, they always sound like Steven Slade drums, which is a good thing because they are reliable, you know, they work right off the box, they are almost mix ready, um, they react very well to processing. This is what I always uh, enjoyed using those samples. So you can throw them in your DAW, put some basic EQ and compression on it. You don't need much because they are most of them already pre-processed, but just adding a tiny bit of EQ and compression really makes them shine. So um, you don't have to put so much work onto those samples to me really make them cut through the mix. And I think this was always the idea of Steven Slatewam when he um, started to provide the, his one-shot samples. Talking about that, um, this is very cool. So you see it here under the instrument page uh, in the overview, um, you see the SSD5 OG one-shot samples. There's a cool story about Steven Slade. You should check this out in the video we provided on the website where he talked about that those samples really was, were the starting point for him in the audio industry, at least in LA. When he moved to LA, he had this CDR in his hand and gave it to mixing engineers and studios and asked them to use that. Uh, those snares that he created and recorded, I think, back in Boston. So um, let's have a listen on those um, samples. They include, of course, compression EQ, some reverb and, and, delay, and delay and all that stuff. So let's have a listen on them. So you see, you get a ton of flavor here on different um, settings. Um, it's like they have kind of like a similar character to them, but of course, they, as they are one shot samples, uh, so don't expect like complex round robin stuff behind the scenes. They are probably not suitable if you play in e drums and, and play with a lot of dynamics with ghost notes and all that stuff. That's not what they are made for. Those one shot samples are really made for to augment and enhance your existing. Um, snare sound. Uh, so if your snare needs some crack and some pop and some fatness um, and you want to have a backbeat that cuts through the mix, um, those snare samples will do the job. So let's just for the sake of it um, create a, on the fly, because it's easy and makes fun, um, a quick uh, kit here and play the same groove that you just heard. So just uh, let's, let's go for the sonar kick drum here because I like it. And um, this stretch snare drum is really my favorite here. Very cracky and high tuned. Um, for the toms, um, I go for the Ludwig Vista lights. Um, when John Bonham loved them, of course, I will love them as well. Hats, let's go for the 14 inch Zildjian K. 
right symbol let's put in two crashes doesn't really make um, make any difference here for the idea and so let's now listen to the groove just with the default uh, settings and this is what i what i told you already if you're not familiar with ssd you see i just picked the the the, the samples right out of the box and the sound will already um sound like kind of like mixed ready so let's have a listen The reason is that most of the samples, I'm not sure about everyone because there was not so much detail about the recording pro, um, progress um, or process of his uh, samples, but it doesn't make sense. It doesn't um, make any difference in the end. I think most of the samples have been recorded, or had been recorded in the NRG studios in LA. I'm not sure about this, so correct me if I'm wrong, if you know better. But that's the reason that the room sound uh, is kind of like the same for almost any sample he provided. Um, some samples he recorded uh, in different locations, but most of the stuff, that's the reason they are so coherent uh, and sound the same, which is the good thing because you can pretty much mix them, um, which you cannot do in some other libraries um, on the market where you have samples from like big cathedral-like rooms and then small tight club rooms. So it's sometimes difficult to mix those samples. In Steam Slate Runs, it's an easy catch. Just like drag them into this cell view on the, on the kit view, which I showed you some minutes ago, um, and you can pretty much use them right off the box. So let's add, um, because this snare, is kind of like cracky and high pitched. So let's look for a darker, fatter, drier sounding snare here. This might work. And this one here. So what you can do now when you go to the mix window, you see uh, you see here the E snare and E snare uh, number two. Those are the two additional snares uh, that's um, automatically Add it into the mix window here. So I bring them down and I will play the groove and I will slowly bring them in until um, the sound is the way I wanted them to be. Amazing. Um, it was easy as that. And when you are familiar with the software, um, now I highlighted the snare top microphone from that Gretsch snare. Usually you can adjust what you see here. Um, you can adjust every single microphone that was included in the recording of that particular instrument. Uh, you can change the rounding with one mouse click. You can change the volume in those uh, particular microphones. So if you have want to have that snare coming more through the room microphone, you can just dial it in here. Um, remove some of the overheads and you're ready. Ready. So with the one-shot samples he provided, of course, this is not possible because every room microphone and reverb he already baked into that sound when he made those samples. But that's that's cool. Um, you can, as I said, those samples are not made for to be used exclusively or on their own. They are made to enhance your existing sound, which I think um, they made it here. One cool or two cool things uh, for all you guys uh, maybe not knowing uh, Steven State Drums, uh, the previous versions here, um, two things that are really cool and convenient and neat is this um, channel here, which is called Snare Ring. What they did, I mean, every snare drum, some more, some less, have a certain frequency where you clearly hear the ring. Uh, sometimes in a mix um, environment, you want to remove that ring, but sometimes you want to have this included because it gives the snare a little bit more natural fitting to it. So they uh, captured that ring um, and made it uh, available on a single track. So you can dial in the amount of ring of that snare, which is really a great feature. So let's have a listen how this sounds when I bring this uh, snare drum ring up in the mix.
it's just subtle and you shouldn't of course exa exaggerate that here but um, it's really really great um, to have that's a neat and a cool idea and the second thing I like about the software is here in the bottom left you see classic and rim shot mode uh, what this does is that the software determines if your MIDI programming um, whether it's a given beat from the software itself or you play on your uh, MIDI controller or your e-drum set, if you have the velocity at 127, so the highest velocity, um, the software will automatically trigger a rim shot because it um, thinks that you want to emphasize uh, the attack here. But it doesn't come by default, so you can switch between classic, uh, which is just the basic center hit, or the rim shot. So um, I would switch between classic and rimshot when I play the beat and you will clearly hear what I mean and for that sake I will bring down the additional snare so it's more obvious on the existing Gretsch snare drum here. And you hear on the subtle ghost notes or on the um, um, on the um, beats in between, um, you don't hear the rim shots. It's just like for the for the back beat. It's a great feature. Um, you would program this usually manually in other libraries when you want to have a, clear, a rim shot because it's usually a different uh, MIDI note. Um, they included this here, um, which even again, this is like Steven Stratum has always been about like rock and metal and cutting through samples uh, and all of this like the ring feature and the rim shot feature that included here everything is contributing to that image and to that sound um, what you get from Steven State Rums. So uh, my conclusion um, it's not a completely reinvented new software I think they did a great job in, in uh, enhancing and improving some of the things some of the feedback they got from the users um, the one-shot samples that Steven Slade, his own samples he included, is a very neat and unique feature. Um, as I said, what you see is what you get um, if you want to have tons of control um, and change every single setting in a drum soft uh, software, you should probably go for Superior Drummer or BFD3, for instance. If you just need something right off the box that works, that cuts through, um, where you can spend more time making music and the beat and you don't want to spend so much time on the software, you should definitely check out Steven State Bombs, especially on a price like that. I think um, for 99, uh, it's a steal. Uh, if you have an older version, I highly recommend to upgrade here to Steven Slate Bombs 5.5. That was pretty much it for me, guys. Uh, I will make more videos in the next weeks, hopefully. I hope you all stay safe in this madness. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave a comment below what you think about the software, if you want to purchase this, or if you have any recommendations or questions about that topic. Thanks for watching, guys, and talk to you in a few. Bye.